What's going on? It's my life in the shot. I'm your host, Don, and watch the shootout with the police up north is now being called a hate crime. Not only because who he shot, but what he yelled before he did the shooting. I'm going to also bring you guys the budget. For 2025, they are saying that property tax increase is on the table. Brandon Johnson addresses city council tomorrow. And a lot of people are saying that they're probably going to raise property tax. And I'm going to bring you guys the video of him campaigning on no property tax. Under a Johnson administration, I'm not raising property taxes. Well, so I'm not going to raise property taxes. That's That's been the lazy form of governance for a very long time in the city of Chicago and, quite frankly, around the country. We have to make sure that we're not raising revenue off the backs of working people. And that's why I'm the only com candidate who's committed to not raising property taxes. Communities have been hit hard um, because the property taxes continue to go up. And that's why I'm committed to making sure that we're not raising property taxes to keep families in the city of Chicago. So in order to actually fix our economy, we have to eliminate the structural deficit. We get to make up to $1 billion of new investments. I'm going to also bring you guys. Chicago police have released a video of an armed robbery. However, what I want to bring you guys is so disturbing. 15 armed robberies on Chicago's South Side. This happened October 21st. Y'all know how much I cannot stand a thief. But also understand, I can't understand for the life of me. Why we don't stand outside and govern our communities? How do y'all let 15 robberies? How is that even possible? I'm going to bring you also a video of an armed robbery. What are y'all going to get in 2025 off an armed robbery? I mean, who carries cash anymore? Anyway, y'all, this man, his name is Saeed Mohammed Abdullah Lali, 22. He's going to be charged with six counts of attempted murder. And I'm, I'm assuming that's because of the cops he shot at. And the guys, around Saturday, 9.30 a.m., a 39-year-old on 2600 block of West Farrell, when another man approached him from behind, shooting him in the shoulder. That's where you can see this video. Listen to the video, and you're going to hear what he yelled out. Right there. So you can see, I think he said, Y'all Allah Akbar, which means God is great in Arabic. So at first, this was not addressed, and they're going to say that the crime was not immediately charged as a hate crime. Disappointing that particular Deborah Silverstein, 50th Ward, who said in her uh, ward that she feels unsafe. A lot of people feel unsafe about the shooting. The victim was a traditional Orthodox Jew on his way to a synagogue when he was struck by a bullet. This happened in West Rogers Park. So that's why this is being upgraded to a hate crime. And then that's when he popped out on the police after that. So shortly after 10 a.m., police arrived to the scene. A shooter emerged from the alley, opening fire at the police. And that's where you could hear when he came out. No officers was injured in this. Oh, he's alive. Yes. However, CPD returned fire. The man was critically wounded. The suspect remained in the hospital. 39-year-old was released and treated. And the ambulance was also struck by gunfire. All right, so now the story's going to say that video shows suspect wanted in at least 15 armed robberies. And we don't stand outside. If we see something suspicious, you're going to see somebody in the car just going about their business. And what I can't stand is that these youngsters are robbing. Let me tell you so I wake up every single day from 7 a.m. to the second I go to sleep working hard to put food on the table. And for some young idiot that's too lazy to get a job, all these opportunities, and you can't get make money, you gotta go out here and rob and steal. This happened October 21st. It, granted, it's very warm outside, but what are y'all wearing? That ain't suspicious. Especially more foes with hoods on, masked up. I can't tell whether he's wearing a mask, but he definitely got a hood on. That's definitely funny to me. I don't let cats walk up to be funny. So this is them running. 
after it happened. Now, see that guy kind of get out. And they're going to stop it and fast forward. And that's after the robbery, alleged robbery happened. However, check this out. So they're going to say CPD actively searching for suspects in at least 15. In each incident, suspects were approached on foot, displayed a small handgun in the man's wallet and cell phone. Y'all cannot be that slow. First thing they're going to do is cancel their cards. Nobody carries cash anymore. Suspects also believe to be involved in separate armed robberies targeting delivery drivers. In these cases, wallets. In these cases, they waited until the drivers approached the home, robbed their most recent offenders, being ordered Uber rides, have been ordering Uber rides, assaulting the drivers with mace handguns escaping in the Uber driver's vehicle. Look at the locations that they all happened at. On one of them, on the same block, three times, on the 8100 block of South Marshfield Avenue, Ashland Avenue. Granted, different days, but come on, man. When something happens, men in our communities, that's on us because we are the governors of our block. You wouldn't, if you a gangbanger, would you let an up walk in your hood and assault your homies? Absolutely not. When are we going to step outside and let these youngsters know, hey, hey, homeboy, not here. Take that to another community, but right here you ain't coming, no sir. Take that somewhere else. Not my family, not the children on my block, not my peeps. Get up off of here. Homeboy, why you walking with a mask? Even if you're scared to approach him. Govern your hood. Govern your block. Because if a youngster on your block gets shot, that could be one of your family members, your friends. So why ain't y'all out there governing your hood? How y'all letting these youngsters rob babies, old ladies, children in our community? And we cheat for that. No more. Y'all can't vote y'all way out this mess. Y'all can't pray your way out this mess. Until you put some ground feet to that work, it ain't gonna get done. Anyway, make sure you guys like, subscribe, let me know what you think about this video. Peace, y'all. Ooh, down to the wire. life in the shine. Ooh, it's my life in the shine.